we're going to look at a um, how to create a workflow using the workflow app. So for automating tasks on an iPhone or an iPad or even a watch. And um, this is a really cool app. And um, the example we're going to look at is we're going to um, look at creating, uh, take a picture and have it automatically add, we're going to use a frame as our example, but you could have it do a filter, you could have it add text maybe for a watermark and then automatically post it to Facebook. So rather than us having to go to the camera and then to the editing tool and then to Facebook for posting, it can do all of those things all within the single workflow. So it saves a lot of time if you do this on a regular basis. So these are existing workflows that um, I already have cre either created or pulled from the gallery. The gallery has all kinds of excellent examples of all different kinds of workflows. These all you know, slide out and have I don't know, there's hundreds of them. So there's all kinds of great examples um, to start from. So we're going to start off with an example. I'm going to go to my workflows and we're going to create a workflow for um, doing um, this picture task. So um, it'll save a lot of time and a lot of effort. So I'm going to create a normal um, workflow and I'm going to swipe to the right. And these are all of the actions that we can do. So you can see they go from calendar to contacts, documents, and this list is really long. Maps, music, photos and videos, which is what we're going to work on, scripting, sharing, and so forth. And these options will change depending on what you have in your existing workflow. So right now notice that um, editing <laughs> um, a photo isn't there and that's because we haven't used, um, we don't have anything in our workflow that can use an edit a photo. So we're going to start off, we're going to add take photo. So I'm just going to tap on it and then I'm going to drag it to the right and this creates our workflow. And we're just going to have it take one photo and we're going to have it use the back camera. And then the next thing we're going to do, so I'm going to swipe back left, is we are going to actually edit the image. Now this wasn't here a second ago, but it appeared after we added that um, take photo option. So we're going to tap on edit image and I'm going to drag that out to the right. And we're going to set our options on it in just a second. And then we're going to go ahead and add our last um, thing that we're going to do is now we're going to share it. So I'm going to scroll down to the sharing options. And you can share this to Facebook, Instagram, WordPress, email, all kinds of places. And uh, for our example, we're going to use post to Facebook. So I'm going to tap on it and then just drag that over as well and put it underneath under edit image. Now on edit image, there's all kinds of things that we can do. I'm going to go ahead and choose... Um, frames is the one I'm going to select, but you could have it do effects, you can have it do overlay stickers, you can have it do text. There's a whole bunch of different options that you can have it do blur, whiten, um, so you can um, select whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and say frames, and um, so we're good, and that's it for our workflow. So I'm going to go ahead and run it so we can test it, and I'm going to have to take a picture here, I'm going to take it in my window. So I'm going to turn this sideways. Okay, so I'm going to run my workflow by tapping that. Okay, and just for example purposes, I'm taking it in my window. I'm going to take the photo, and I'm going to go ahead and say use photo. Not the greatest photo in the world, but for now, for example. And then we're going to go into the frames, and um, you can add whatever frame you want. I just picked that one for our example. And then I'm going to go up here and choose apply and it applied it and I'm going to say done. Now you could go into other effects if you wanted to but let's say that that's my primary one okay and now notice so it added that and then now it automatically rolled to Facebook and then I can post to Facebook and say you know thanks for watching here's a picture of my cat my dog whatever it is that you're taking a picture of and then I can post and I'm done. <laughs> so I'm actually going to cancel out of this because nobody wants to see my window shade there so I'll discard it but that's pretty amazing so that it can do that that quickly. Notice that you can share these workflows and you can even add them to your home screen. Now when you add them to your home screen, let me show you, okay, you can actually create an entire folder um, with your workflows. And so you, when you add them to your home screen, you get your own icon, you can change the color of the icon, you can put a icon on the little square, um, and you can even take a photo. So this actually is a workflow for creating a a selfie gift. So you take three funny faces and save it and then post it to social media. So that's for making a selfie gift. So now I can do, if I had saved that one to my workflows as a 
icon, I could just tap on it and it would automatically go through those steps for me. So it's super quick and um, just really easy. So uh, workflows can be really simple or they can be really complex. So there's all kinds of things that you can do. And that's just an example of um, a very practical example of taking a photo, applying the effects and posting it to social media all with way less taps than it would take between going to those multiple apps. So hope that helps. Um, if you have any questions, let me know.